Fukushima Daiichi or Fukushima number one nuclear power plant disaster. Hello, my name is Sverrir Maur and I'm going to talk about uh, the situation at Fukushima number one nuclear power plant. Uh, to begin with, I want just to show you what I'm going to read to you here. This is information that I have uh, gathered and uh, I think it's necessary to, to get it out. Uh, it's uh, the evening of 21st of uh, March now. Uh, this morning uh, the grey smoke uh, went from the reactor building number 3 uh, and the evacuated the area. Uh, the news have been that uh, cooling at reactor number 5 has become uh, almost a normal level. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, they have gone back to the site uh, today. Uh, I have not uh, confirmed news about that. Uh, so it's, it's 22nd of March in Japan now. Um, please share this video, upload it to your site, translate it, spread the world, uh, the word, word, what I'm saying, because I want to keep everything real and let people understand what is happening and why they are doing the things they're doing at the power plant. Uh, to begin in with, I want to tell you that I'm not a scientist or nuclear physicist or anything like that. Uh, but for a few years my hobby have been studying nuclear disasters, especially the one that happened in Chernobyl in 1986. So if there is anything I say that is not quite right, please reply to this message or send me uh, message or, or, or something. Um, also in the end of this video I have an idea that uh, people in Japan that is in very hard hit areas uh, can can use to make their life a little bit easier. Uh, this video is not made for uh, as a fear mongering or for profit or anything like that. Uh, I believe that people should know and understand what really is going on. Uh, though I don't understand uh, Though I don't want to, to downplay what is happening in Libya now, it's getting way too much coverage on air at the news station around the world. The only TV station I have found that is very good at covering the nuclear disaster is NHK World. It's a Japanese news station. If anybody have seen their explanation, on what is happening at the nuclear power plant. It was one of the best I have seen and they are repeating it as we are speaking uh, I don't know on hourly basis or something like that. Uh, the only thing I was not happy about uh, watching that was the size of the fire truck. It was way too big uh, compared to the uh, buildings. Uh, people yeah, okay, people. This is one of the biggest uh, nuclear disasters ever to happen in the world, and there is no almost no coverage of it in the news. Shame on the news station and reporters. I think that the information that the Japanese government is telling today is in is correct in in most cases. So people in Japan. I will trust what the Japanese uh, government is telling you now. Uh, in the beginning of, of last week, uh, I was not sure, like you most probably uh, have been, but but I have seen that that the information is is pretty good that you are getting. Uh, only thing I'm not happy about is when they are saying that. Uh, uh, there is a safe level of radiation somewhere. I feel I feel it should like uh, to be more like uh, that the radiation level is uh, not enough 
to harm human health. I, I think it's more right to say it that way. Uh, about the faceless 50, I don't like that phrase. I would rather like to call them uh, the Fukushima brave. I think it's more appropriate, appropriate more, more right. Uh, it's because there are a lot more than 50. Uh, there are at least 180 people at the site now and they're bringing in more people and the thing is that there has only been 50 people in any given time working at once and they're, they're working at 50 minutes uh, shifts um, and they have uh, yeah okay I agree with the efforts that are going on at the power plant now and I think they are doing the absolutely the correct thing uh, to do with the situation as it is. All talk about concreting the react reactors is crazy talk at this moment but it's completely ras last resort. Uh, people have been coming on TV stations saying this is Chernobyl on steroids. At this moment I believe we have far away from that yet. Uh, yeah, I, I put it like this, far away for it, from it yet. Okay, uh, but in my opinion we passed the Three Mile Island few days ago. But there is some factor uh, that are different from and could put this in similar category as Three Mile Island is, if, if, this, if the situation does not get any worse than it is now. Um, but the rescue effort uh, in itself is probably the hardest ever, many times harder than any other nuclear rescue effort ever. Think about that. Uh, I understand that there are around uh, 45 trucks in the area now. Uh, there are some military vehicles that have uh, that can handle some radiation, but how much I don't know. The cleverest thing I have seen so far is that they are bringing a war tank uh, that is built to resist nuclear fallout and uh, nuclear warheads and chemical weapons, uh, and they have their own oxygen um, supply inside. But uh, and they're going to put fire hose on the cannon, so they can drive into high-level radiation areas where they have not been able to get into. Also, uh, yeah, and and they can uh, then uh, they can control the uh, cannon how they are are spraying the water. Also, this tank has a plow in front. Uh, probably to be able to clean debris on the side. There is there is a lot of debris and that has been uh, troubling the uh, rescue. Uh, there is a lot of things that are different between this accident and Chernobyl or Chernobyl. Uh, without going into too much detail on what happened in Chernobyl now, uh, first of all the reactor them, uh, themselves are totally di different. Uh, they were running tests. Uh, I have not written it, but uh, one question is I have very much heard that uh, people are saying that the reactors in uh, Fukushima is much stronger than the, the ones that uh, is in uh, was in uh, Chernobyl. But uh, my findings have, have uh, they are around uh, seven, eight hundred megawatts. Those reactors in uh, Fukushima, but the one in uh, Chernobyl was one thousand megawatts. So I would like to get this uh, information on this. But but the biggest one, number six in Fukushima, is uh, I think eleven hundred megawatts. Uh, yeah, in Chernobyl they were running tests and because of that they disconnected many of the alarm bells. Uh, also, there were many mistakes done before the test uh, was run. So, there was not only uh, mistakes done in the test itself. 
uh, they even ignored some of the uh, alarm bells that went on while the test was going on. Big ex explosion. Uh, probably a massive steam explosion. Maybe hydrogen explosion happened inside the reactor itself. Uh, there was never nuclear disaster, uh, nuclear blast in Chernobyl. It, it was a white misunderstanding. No nuclear explosion at Chernobyl. Never. Uh, the blast was uh, so massive that it tossed the. I've heard from 1,000 till 2,000 ton. The lid was. Uh, most have been said it was around 2,000 ton. Uh, that's equal to 4 million pounds. Uh, yeah, the lid tossed and went through the air and into the roof of the building. Uh, the reactor building that was just a simple uh, shelter, something like uh, airplane shelter. And it, it landed sideways on, on top of the reactor. Uh, the reactor itself went down uh, about 2 meters or 7 feet. I'm not sure if it was because of the explosion itself or because when the lid crashed on it again. Um, yes, uh, as far as I understand, uh, job have been done to connect new water lines into some of the reactors at Fukushima. But they don't have any power to start water pumps. Uh, that uh, job is being done, I think. At least they are working on it. On it. Uh, they have all. Uh, they have. They also have concerns that the pumps could be damaged by using seawater. Why are they using seawater? Uh, simply because they don't have anything else, and it. In itself, it is great that they have access to the sea. Uh, why aren't they using ice or snow? I've seen many YouTube videos where people are saying use ice, snow. I'm not sure if it is uh, if it would be more feasible, and also the uh, amount that uh, they are using of water is so massive. Uh, that they don't have that. I mean, it would not be possible to make ice on the place, and and people are saying there is snow. They would have to fly long distances, and and I mean the helicopters is getting radioactive, and it it would not be clever to fly radioactive uh, helicopters over people. Uh, so what they are doing with uh, using seawater is the best thing. I mean, it's it's terrible to talk about something good or best or something. It's the most feasible thing they can do at the moment. Uh, and I'm going to explain it here a little bit later, the amount they are using and the scale of this all. Uh, 